Terrence Malick's latest film, Night of Cups, uh, isn't really all that far removed from the last few films that he's uh, has given us, uh, Tree of Life and To the Wonder. Uh, prior to those films, it seemed like he was more in a traditional, uh, lyrical, dreamlike, uh, uh, traditional narrative film, uh, for example, say The New World or uh, Thin Red Line. But when he got to doing Tree of Life, he really got into a ver very almost mystical kind of storytelling where he's basically presenting us imagery and then we as viewers had to participate and put together just what exactly is he showing us. Um, I picked Tree of Life as the best film of that year. And then that was followed by To the Wonder, which I did not, did not resonate with me at all. And I, I was kind of underwhelmed by it. But now here he is with Knight of Cups and it seems to be that he's basically... Uh, once again, presenting a visual tale that challenges the viewer just to keep up and sort out just what exactly we're seeing. But unlike To the Wonder, I was quite engaged with what Malik was presenting here and, uh, and the elements involved. Basically, it's about a, uh, a Hollywood type, a, uh, a screenwriter, who um, basically seems to be in a rut and is just moving through life and not experiencing life. He's a womanizer and he's just moving from one, one relationship with another woman to another. And the film unfolds in, uh, in, uh, in segments. And as we watch each segment, we get a, a general idea of what was going on in this person's life at that point. And then as the film progresses, we are left to assimilate and take it all in and sort out just what exactly it is we were watching. And in the end, whether or not it resonates with us is really dependent on the viewer. I mean, I could totally connect with the whole uh, the uh, whole Hollywood aspect of it, living here in L.A., and knowing the, these types of uh, archetypes of people who just move through life in Hollywood with really just, are basically just living it, but not experiencing it. And... It's a very interesting tale uh, that uh, features an all-star cast, which includes uh, Christian Bale, Cate Blanchett, Natalie Portman, the fantastic Brian Dennehy, Antonio Banderas, Frida Pinto, Wes Bentley, uh, Teresa Palmer, Imogene Poots, Armin Mueller-Stahl, and the list goes on and on, because this is a movie that's in Hollywood. There are also various cameos, unexpected cameos. And... And Malik doesn't dwell on those cameos. And it's, it is kind of funny seeing these people like, whoa, was that so-and-so? And you're like, no. Oh. But he just kind of moves along. And like like Christian Bale's character, Rick, he just moves through the scene. And there's events just fall around him. And it seems like he's almost in a, uh, he's in a rut. He's like almost uh, uh, monotonal in his life and the way he, he, he responds to things. It's almost like he, he, need, he needs something to get going. And, um, and all the segments in this film come together to basically uh, show you if he's reaching an epiphany and, and coming to a realization of just who he is and what he's, what he's becoming. Uh, I may be totally far off base if that is exactly what Malik was going for, but like, um, for example, Tree of Life, I couldn't really 100% tell you what it was about because all film is subjective and basically you are you take from the film what you think you watched. And this is one of those films where you're going to be debating with friends, like, just what exactly did I see here? And whether you liked it or not is depending on how well he tells this story. And like I said, the... Knight of Cups is very compelling and very engaging. Even though you kind of get a glimmer of what exactly is going on, you are still drawn into the story because of the strength of the performances. Christian Bale is fantastic in this film, and all the supporting cast uh, from the All-Star cast is just as engaging. So, Knight of Cups, in comparison to, to The Wonder, I enjoyed it much more. I was much more engaged by it. So, I would have to give Knight of Cups 3.5 stars out of 5. Yes, 3.5 stars out of 5 for Terrence Malick's latest film. So, if you uh, like this review, please hit that like button below. Have you uh, seen previous Malik films? Were you looking forward to Night of Cups? What were you most looking forward to seeing? And if you have seen Night of Cups, what did you think you saw? 
So I'm very curious to find out. And please, of course, post a spoiler alert on there if you do. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my reviews as they come in. So until next time, we'll see you at the movies.